Hello everybody and welcome to Unique Gifts. We have an awesome haul here today from Aldi's. I am so excited about this grocery trip. I can't wait to show you guys. You know what? Let's go ahead and dive on in. There's a lot here to see and I am so thankful. All of this is pretty much going to be for freezer meals, kid snacks, hubby snacks. Everybody's going to have a blast. Everybody's going to get a blast out of it. So let me show you what we got. Um, right here, we're going to start off with this. We got our almond milk. We stocked up on our almond milk this time. We got chocolate, one original, and two vanillas. We also got a pack of, what is this, onion recipe soup and dip mix. We got four cans of the crushed pineapples and their own juices. I love making um, chicken. Is it pineapple chicken? It's Asian pineapple chicken. It is so good. It's one of our wonderful freezer meals that we have in our house. And then you serve it with a wonderful jasmine rice. It's so awesome. I can't wait to show you that recipe. Over here, we're just going <laughs> to... Over here, we're just going to skip this mountain and we're going to go to the easy stuff. I got a case of yogurts. I got three peaches, three cherries, three strawberry bananas, and three of the strawberries. And underneath these wonderful gems, we went ahead and got a case of their diced tomatoes, basil, garlic, and oregano. I like to stock these for quick recipes I make my own salsa and we make our own pasta sauce so I like to have a case of these on hand and I ran out I went to family dollar I will link that shopping trip down below because I did get four but I wound up making salsa and pasta sauce with it so I had to go to Aldi's and stock up I should have got another case but we're planning on going back for our other shopping trip so that's gonna come in handy so next, here's the big mama stuff. So we got a bag of grapefruits here. Yes, we got a bag of grapefruits. We also got two bunches of organic bananas. I got a wonderful distilled vinegar, 32 fluid ounces. Steak sauce. Worcestershire sauce, Caesar dressing, two cans of their crescent rolls. These are just going to be for quick little pin meal, pinwheel meals, and our kids don't really like them all that much. It's kind of like a weekend thing for us. A can of Italian breadcrumbs. I also got a container of the Simply Natural Coconut Oil. I got two containers here of the original barbecue sauce. Two things of radishes. A thing of green onions, the Thai peanut sauce. I love this stuff. It is so good to make peanut chicken. I actually put that on our Instagram, and that was wonderful. It was the best thing I ever bought there at all these, and I got it again this time. Brussels sprouts. Have an awesome recipe on this too. I love it. Cocktail peanuts with sea salt. Some adventure trail mix. And this is the ones with the almonds, mini peanut butter cups, dried cranberries, and cashews. I believe we got two bags of these. I'll see if I can't find the other one later. Some traditional soy sauce. Now, I... It's a simmering sauce. I'm not even going to try to butcher the name, but we wanted to give this a good try. It's got blended with ginger and coriander. I know a good recipe for this. I just needed the sauce for it, so we went ahead and picked up the sauce. We also got two of the fresh mushroom tops or caps. I love to top these up and add them to spaghetti sauce. 
We also got a thing of sweet and sour Asian sauce. A sauce. <laughs> sauce. <laughs> Farm friendly sour cream. A bag of navel oranges. This is a four pound bag. And when I went, their yellow onions were on sale for 79 cents. So I went up and got a bag of those. I got some peanut butter powder for our smoothies. And what's so awesome, the recipe is actually on the back. So we were able to cash in on that. We were excited about that. I got the, this is Fit and Active Simply Vanilla Granola. And the snack pack, I like to put these on my yogurt in the mornings. And also the Fit and Active Honey Note Granola Snack Pack. I do this in a little bit of nuts, and that is basically my breakfast with a with some almond milk. So, also got some thick sliced bacon from Appleton Farm. I do a wonderful I do a wonderful Brussels sprouts recipe, so I needed the bacon for that. A pound of ham. A pound of turkey. Alright, we have two bags of the two pounds of mozzarella. And I got two bags of the sliced, shredded, or the shredded, excuse me, Mound cheddar, and these are the two pound bags. So, I got, of course, two of those for freezer making. I got three of the flour tortillas that are in the 10 count bags. I'm so excited about those for the upcoming freezer meals I have planned. Moving on to the next bin, <laughs> we got three loaves of white or honey white bread. My husband loves this bread, and he got a bag of white sandwich bread. I don't think he realized he got a thing of white sandwich bread. Let's see if he remembers when we make sandwiches. We got those. I had to stock up on all of my pastas. So I got four boxes of their penne's. I got four boxes of their bow tie pasta. And I got four boxes of their Rotini pasta. So I love getting these as my staple items. Again, I, I really love stocking these up. I use them in every almost every pasta freezing meal I do. So I make sure to have a great stockpile of them. These will be gone in a couple of days because some of the freezer meals I'm doing calls for these particular pastas. I make a barbecue chicken pasta, um, a chicken, what is it? A ranch chicken, broccoli pasta, a pizza pasta, three cheese pasta, a lot of pasta meals. Um, we're going to start switching over to whole wheat pasta, but at this very moment, these were what they had at my Aldi's. So until we find the whole wheat pasta, we then switch over to the whole wheat. But I like to keep pasta as a staple in our home. Got my kids the on-the-go, the Southern Grove on-the-go trail mix. And this is the, let me see, peanuts, cranberry, and almond trail mix that look like this. And I think that'll be a nice treat for them, especially if you've seen a lot of my videos lately. You know that my kiddos have gym this year, so I think this would be an awesome thing to have after gym to get their, you know, energy back up so they won't feel so sluggish through the rest of the day. There's that other bag of Adventure Trail Mix with the almonds, mini peanut butter cups, dried cranberries, and cherry, um, cashews. And that's how this looks. I am so excited. But we also, we don't actually use these for trail mix a lot. I actually put them in like brownie mixes. And this is like a really nice alternative to add to your brownie mix package. And then I put a little marshmallows in there. And it's kind of like a mousse crunch brownie. So that's what I like to make with my trail mix. I got my hubby a surprise. And it's a poke bowl, a smoked salmon poke bowl. It's Hawaiian style dish that includes the smoked salmon, the rice, the poke sauce, and the spicy sauce. 
it's ready in two minutes i thought he would like that and it's 20 grams of protein in this and i think he'd like this for lunch so i want to just surprise him so i think he'll like that and it's by blue hill bay so if he likes it you know we'll get him another one of those hello, hello Alyssa. i also got a pack of the sweet bell peppers I use and cut these up and put them in my salsa, my spaghetti. I do stir fries and stuff, so I'll probably chop one in half. Uh, I'll, I will chop them in half and then use one half for, like, you know, salt, uh, peppers, onions, whatever. And then I might just have to go to the store and buy another one. I didn't think about that because one of my recipes called for the red and the orange. And so I just grabbed a pack of red and orange. Another one I love to do in my dishes now is the mini sweet peppers. A lot of my dishes, especially in my salsa, I put this in. But I'm noticing even in my pasta dishes when I add these, it's the, the taste quality of my food. It jumps so high. And so we got the nature sweet ones. And this is just a wonderful bag. It is 16 ounces, which is a pound. And it comes in this wonderful little carrying case. So I was very excited. And it's zippy. So, in case I don't need them all, I can just zip them back up. So, that's awesome to me. Also, I got some croutons. I got the classic Caesar croutons. And that is, what, is there, how many ounces of that? It's five ounces. And then I got the Italian seasoned croutons. And those are also five ounces. I like to use these, of course, in salads. But I also grind them up sometimes together and make them into breading when I do my meatloaves and stuff like that because I use the breadcrumbs to bread chicken tenders and things like that when I want to have a pal in my meatballs I actually use croutons so just a little tip there if you want to spice up your meatballs here is the rest of that pasta and if you watched an old Aldi haul that we did my husband fell in love with these we couldn't find our Girl Scouts this year. They are like the most hardest people to find in our neighborhood. So my husband loves the peanut butter filled cookies. So since we didn't find any Girl Scouts, Aldi's got his money for his cookies. So he got, of course, four packs of his peanut butter cookies. I'm not hating. I'm just upset they didn't have my Thin Mints. <laughs> I'm not hating. I'm just, they didn't have my Thin Mints, and I was feeling a little bit out of place because they didn't have my Thin Mints, so, hey. <laughs> All right, and the last thing we have here is our wonderful Aldi's bag, and let's dive into that. This bag right here is fun. So, we got a container of the rolled quick oats here, and that is a two- 10 ounce container this is a staple we like to keep this on hand in our house also I got a thing of the quick grits from Mill Valley and that is what a pound and eight ounces another one of our staple items that kind of went bye bye for a little while but I'm glad to have it back in my house another thing we got was the farm fresh from the farm zucchini these suckers are huge this year they are huge, and one of the ladies beside me, she was like, well, I know what I'm having for dinner tonight. <laughs> Every woman around us laughed, but my husband didn't find it funny, so there you go. And then I got another fresh from the farm item, which is their three count of green peppers, and I had to make sure to get that for, of course, recipes and things like that. I did pick up a pack, or two packs of the fig bars. My kids eat these with their snacks. Um, for school and everything like that. I try my best to make sure their snacks are healthy. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they are. When I go to all these, I make sure to stock up on their good stuff. So I got two packs of these big bars. Another thing I grabbed was two packs of their garden salads right here. I got two packs of those. Of course, with all that pasta, I like to have a salad. I will be going to Sam's Club later on this month, and we'll get probably three bags of their big salad. But for right now, we're having pasta tomorrow for dinner, so I just grabbed two bags of their little salads. And plus, we're having tacos in the next coming days. So, 
Yeah. So the next thing I got was marshmallows. Again, I like putting these in my brownies and making a little like s'more treat or whatever and add the little wonderful trail mix to it and it, it spices up your brownies. It is so good. Um, once I get the recipe, I will post it on my blog and I will leave a link to my blog in the description below. Another thing we got was two packs of taco shells. I love having tacos, but sometimes we like having tacos a different way. I usually will take these and make a, was it a taco bake? I learned that off large family table and one of her ingredients was taco shells and you crush them up and it's a whole fun smorgasbord full of stuff. That's why I got that tub of sour cream. So we're going to have a taco bake here soon. So I got two boxes of those. Another thing we got was the white cheddar puffs. These are gluten free. These are also for my kids for snacks. These are from Simply Natural and they are organic and they want to try something different in their snacks. So I got them a bag of these. Also, we got them a bag of original veggie chips. These are their potato chips and they've been having them for a while. So they love them. So we're starting to put this back into their rotation of snacks for school. Another thing we did get was two bags of the white round tortilla chips. I do these with walking taco meals. It's a very easy recipe. It's kind of one of those make tacos, but you don't want to make taco things. And then I use it with nachos or um, breading for breading sometimes when I'm like non fried chicken and stuff like that. So we like to use the white round tortilla chips for that. And I got two bags of those. Another thing I got for the family, of course, is always going to be a staple in our house is the pretzels. These are the mini twist pretzels and they are a one pound bag. I did get two of these. We go through pretzels. I make uh, a lot of baking stuff with pretzels. We do a lot of crafts with pretzels. Well, not technically crafts. Well, I call cooking and baking crafts. So, because you're always taking something or a bunch of stump things and making it into one big thing. So, uh, and then they take these for snacks also. And they were running low on pretzels. So, I had to make sure to buy them more pretzels. So, we got two bags of pretzels. Last but not least, to go in our smoothies, we got a bag of spinach. A little salad bar spinach. We got our one little bag of spinach, and it is, what is it, eight ounces of spinach. There's a nutritional value for it. We would usually, like I said, put these in our smoothies. I'll put them in um, my veggie bake, which is like zucchini, squash, spinach, some Brussels sprouts, all these wonderful veg. I make my homemade pasta, and that is the one vegan dish that we actually have in our house until I get a better recipe catalog for more plant-based, more moving away from meat um, dishes in our house. So everything came up to a total of $166.17. That was so awesome. And I got 118 items and it was, um, like I said, 166 17 so I am very thankful. This is a long, very, very long receipt. There we go. A very long receipt here. Very long receipt. <laughs> but I am very thankful for it. So we thank you so much for watching our channel. Please like and subscribe. And as always, we thank you. This was actually so much fun. I put a lot of stuff away but yeah i had fun i hope you had fun watching please like subscribe there will be links below to our blog there will be links below to our social media page please like subscribe and as always from our house to yours may y'all have a blessed day and we'll catch you on the flip side